Okay, team, we have another phoneme segmentation question. This is from that RECA test, that new RECA test in California. I love this question, but it's kind of wordy. So what I'm going to do is I want you to read this question. Um, I, I would say give yourself, uh, I don't know, uh, let's, say, uh, let's say two minutes to just read this. And then you're going to have a minute to read that second, the next page, because this is two pages. There's this, it goes from here to here, and then we continue to go uh, from here onward. So that's going to be another minute. But I want you to try something right now. Since this is a longer question, I want you to, uh, I'm going to pause the video. You can pause, read this question over, and then I'll reappear and show the other one, and you read that one, and then we'll talk about it, okay? So everyone, pause me now. Freeze. Pause me. Unpause me. You've read this. Now read this. One minute. Freeze. Freeze me. Unfreeze. All right. So you may have to go back and rewind and, and, and do what you need to do, but you got to go back and now read this. Okay. Pause the video. Read this. And then let's talk about it. Okay. All right. The first part we see kindergarten. Okay. Whenever I see kindergarten, that's the first thing. I, what do I, what do we ask? Is it a what or a what? Kindergarten is not most likely, it could be comprehension. It could, it could be vocabulary. It could be fluency, but, but you know, my first go-tos is going to be, is it a sound thing? Is it a print thing? Okay. Just that's my first go-to and it answers the question. It says it's a sound thing. Now, what type of sound thing is it? Is it a sound thing, uh, a scenario involving word level or syllable level or onset and rhyme? No, 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 no. It is a sound thing on the phoneme level. Yes? So now we're thinking, okay, kindergarten sound activity involving phonemic awareness. And we get that within the first, I don't know, 10 seconds, right? So right away, within the first 10 seconds of reading this over, before we even read the rest of it, our minds, what are our minds doing? Our minds are pulling up the Rolodex of phonemic awareness activities, right? You're pulling it up, generating this picture in your head. And you're going to be like, okay, what is the teacher doing? Are they doing a, a phoneme isolation or, or blending segmenting? Or are they doing a manipulation, phoneme manipulation of some sort? What are they doing? Okay. And you're doing this all within the first 10 seconds of reading that first line, right? All right. So we, we're thinking, what is this activity? Okay. So the, uh, what is this? What type of phonemic words in this assessment is it? Okay. So the, well, let's find out. Teacher's talking to the student. Uh, it's kindergarten. So what is this? There's a teacher talking to a, what kindergarten is what? Four to six year, five to six year old. So let's just say they're uh, five to six years old. What is this picture of? The teacher displays a picture of a boat. Okay, the student says, a boat? And the teacher's like, a boat, that's right. <laughs> the kindergarten kid's like, yeah, I know what a boat is. Okay, all right. And then the teacher says, now let's say the word boat together very slowly. Boat. Uh, the student pronounces the word to the teacher. How many sounds do you hear? Boat. Uh, the teacher slowly repeats the words. The student says three. Okay, now let's just stop there for a moment. Um, in this activity, is there any writing of the word boat? No, there's no writing. It's just a picture, right? And the teacher is doing, there's a picture, and the teacher is also talking. They say they're, they're talking. So the word boat is all in spoke is either in the picture or spoken language. No, no letters, uh, no letters necessary. So this is a pure phonemic awareness assessment. There is no letters uh, helping out that student. It is all either auditory or it's come. It's through the picture. The picture is giving the cue of what word it is. Right. Okay. So this is a pure phonemic awareness assessment, and, and uh, the teacher segments. And then the uh, and and they're being asked how many sounds you hear in that word, and the student says three. 
Is that right? So in this one right here, it's an activity involving phoneme segmentation and counting the phonemes in the word. Did you pick that up? All right, hopefully you did. And we can kind of see that here too in this page. If you need to read, the, read this over again, do it now, pause. Read it over again. Okay, this assessment would be an appropriate way to attest the student's ability to perform which of the following phonemic awareness tasks? Which one? Well, again, one more time. The teacher is segmenting, and then they're asked how many sounds do you hear, and the student has to hear that there are three sounds. So this isn't, um, this is not onset and rhyme, right? This is not our friend. This activity is, remember our friend? Remember those, remember our friend, your good old friend. There's those that are not your friend. Uh, and then there's your friend, right? If you read this activity, I want you to see that this is a phoneme segmentation activity, right? They're segmenting phonemes and counting phonemes and words. So it wouldn't be B, onset and rhyme would not be your friend in this case study. It wouldn't be D, relating a phonemes to letters. That's letter sound and sound letter correspondence. That's, that's phonics. We're not doing that. In fact, this would be referencing within phonics, uh, sound letter correspondence. That would be uh, referencing some type of uh, encoding activity or spelling activity. So we're not doing that. That's not our friend in this case study. Um, is it um, recognizing how many phonemes are contained in a word? Or is it counting the, the, the blending, counting and blending the phonemes in the word? Which one is it? Is it A or is it C? Um, I, could, I could see how this could be confusing because technically they do count the number of sounds in the word, right? But they're really not practicing blending here. Do you notice that? They're never asked, they're never asked uh, what word is that, right? Let me make sure of that. They're shown a picture of a boat. They say it's a boat. Then the teacher breaks down the word, boat, doesn't ask them to blend it. Just says, how many sounds do you hear in that word? And they say three, right? So in, in this one right here, the an answer would be C, right? I know that's kind of confusing, right? Because we've been talking about blending, but they don't go that step and ask them to blend the word. They could have said what word, I mean, if they wanted to do that, they would have they 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 would have started with uh boat. What word does that say? And the student could have said boat, and then the answer would have been blending phonemes, right? You see how these are kind of tricky? That's a good one. Kind of tricky. It's a great test to look at, team. You know, you may have to read this one over again, team. The answer is C. It has a lot of ideas in it. We got phonemic awareness. We have isolating and blending phonemes. Uh, we have onset and rhyme. We have encoding. These are ideas that are in, involved in here. We have just uh, working with uh, being uh, having an awareness of the number of sounds in a word. If you haven't taken a look at the, maybe you're in California and that's all you do. You've been focused a lot on this exam. That's great. It's a good exam to take a look at. Maybe you're not in California. Maybe you're in Texas or Ohio or North Carolina or Massachusetts. You may want to take a look at this, these new RIC exams. They might, you might find them very helpful, okay? And the, the idea is you're trying to get exposure to new questions, right, where you get to practice these things. Everyone comes to me and says, I know what a lot of teachers come to me and say, I know what phoneme segmentation is. I just don't know how to answer these questions. So here's an opportunity to see new questions involving phoneme segmentation so you can get better at it, okay? All right, team, let's go to the next question.